D. Wade, um, when did you first meet him? Uh, first time I, I met him was my rookie season in the NBA. I've, um, I've been a big, my three favorite players was Michael Jordan, Allen Iverson, and Kobe Bryant. Ten games into my rookie season, we played the Lakers here on this court. Um, Shaq, Carl Malone, Gary Payton, and Kobe Bryant. I, uh, I told Kobe the story in um, 2016 at the All-Star Game when he allowed us, myself, Chris Paul, and Carmelo to host um, a, a thank you dinner for him. And I told him in that game, in the fourth quarter, I got my opportunity to guard him for the first time. And it was in transition, and I was scared as hell. And I remember thinking to myself, you watched him play over and over, you know his move. You know his move. And I just guessed right, and I ripped him. And I remember thinking, this don't matter if I don't finish this basket. And I came down, I hit the floater, and I just thought to myself, I cannot believe what just happened. I'm calling all my boys back at the crib and let them know that I just ripped Kobe Bryant. And that was my first opportunity. He, he don't remember that moment because it wasn't a big moment. But for me, it meant the world. It meant the world that I got a chance to play against one of my idols. I got a chance to have a moment against one of my idols. And it just went from there. And the next year, Shaq got traded to Miami. And right away, Kobe and myself was pinned against each other. And I'm like, no, this is my, one of my favorite players. But I understood, the business I understood what we was out for. We was out for championships. And every time we played each other, I had to act like I didn't, that I didn't care that I was playing against my, one of my idols. Elbows, he falls, don't help him up. You know, all these things I had to get used to, and that was hard because I grew up wanting to be like this, wanting to be like him. And fortunate enough for me that I've had the opportunity over the years, 2008 came and I got a chance to play in the Olympics. And I remember the first day that I really had a real conversation with Kobe. It was, uh, the day before the first Olympic practice. 6.30 in the morning, my trainer Tim Grover gets me up and said, hey, we gotta go get our work in before we get there, uh, before you guys get to practice. And I go to the weight room, and there's only one other person in the weight room, and it's Kobe Bryant. And Kobe's on the opposite end, I'm on the opposite end, we're not really saying much to each other, we're just getting our work in. And towards the end of the workout, it was a, it was a drill that Tim made us do that you had to get in a push-up position and hold yourself and see how long you can hold yourself. And he pinned me and Kobe right next to each other to see who can hold each other the longest. His competitive drive, my competitive drive, it was the longest I've ever held myself up. And after we got done doing three sets of that, Kobe stood up and said, you just like me. Tim, why you didn't tell me this was just like me? And from that moment on, I've had his respect. And for me, as a young kid, coming into this league, it was one person that I wanted to respect from. It was one person I wanted to look at me as his equal and look at me eye to eye, and it was Kobe Bryant. So getting this news the other day, I think I've been in shock for two days, and this is the first moment where it actually feels real. My buddy right now is, I'm shaking, I'm numb. But I just want to talk to the, to the people out there, the fans out there. Um, I went to the gym this morning and I just wanted to be around people. And I saw people in the gym that didn't even want to be there, but they, they was at the gym. And I saw people with Kobe gear on, with Kobe shoes on, Laker gear on. I saw people on working out, but they really was just staring off in, in, the, in the days. But I just want to let them know that it's okay to feel whichever way you're feeling right now. It's okay to be hurt. It's okay to cry. It's okay to show emotion. It's okay to have laughter. It's okay to talk about, to get around people and talk about the moments that you've shared with Kobe Bryant. It's okay to find that community right now 
to get around a group of individuals to just talk about moments and talk about memories because that's all we've been doing in my house for the last two days. Not only is it okay, I'd encourage it. Um, Kenny, when I called you the